As of 2022, AAA found that the average American spends just over an hour driving a day. But Deroni Aerospace is betting that at least some of those trips could be replaced with flights on electric takeoff and landing vehicles. So joining me now uh, to talk about the company at Deroni Aerospace, Airspace is CEO Derone Merdinger. Uh, Derone, thank you for joining. Thank you for inviting me, Kristen. All right, so I see that the company unveiled its H1X design. Looks like a flying car. Tell me more about this. Yeah, so it's it's essentially an EV tow, but it's a, what used to be called a flying car. Um, it's a vertical takeoff and landing, all electric vehicle. You can take off from your two-car garage, and essentially you can land wherever um, uh, the owner lets you or gives you a permission to land. Uh, very easy to control, very safe, uh, sustainable technology, which we use today. Uh, we, it's already uh, multiple patents that we carry as well. So. so this is designed for individuals to park this puppy in their car or their driveway and take off vertically. Exactly. Um, um, it's, it's, a, it's a machine that interacts with the user. Think about like a big drone in a way, but uh, multiple redundancies in case of a failure. It's a new standard basically in aviation, which is safer than what we see until now. What's the timeline for this to be adopted? So we already have a, a, a certified a flying prototype. Uh, we expect by the end of uh, 25 to be ready with our go-to-market product, uh, what you saw, the H1X, and the deliveries will start at uh, 20, end to 25, 26. Uh, we have over 400 pre-order requests. Uh, people uh, invest in our company on our website and also pre-order as well. How much would something like this cost? It's uh, between three hundred fifty to four hundred thousand dollars, depends uh, on the express. Okay, three hundred and fifty thousand dollars yeah. right, to four hundred thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah. Um, and what kind of regulations uh, do we need to see put in place for something like this to become reality? So first of all, uh, the big air taxis or the EV tolls, the e big air taxi, which is a more complicated form of certification, have uh, start flying test flights in New York here in just January, uh, February twenty four. They'll be by 25 to be certified. So we are in, in line with our certification, which is less complicated as theirs, because again, we are not uh, ride sharing. We are for person who's a two seater va uh, VAS four and five. So uh, things are looking great. I mean, US is, is really behind the rest of the world at this stage, and we're just trying to catch up. What countries are, are pioneering this uh, that would be ahead of the U.S. in this EV uh, takeoff, vertical takeoff and landing, EV toll, I think, as you exactly. call it? China is ahead of the game. They're already flying uh, as taxis and air taxis. Um, uh, I think Brazil, Europe, uh, Australia, uh, more advanced in the U.S., unfortunately. And uh, we are the most advanced in our category in the U.S., as, as far as we know. And these are electric vehicles? Electric vehicles. Okay, so how long does it take to charge something like this? So it uh, depends on the, the amount that you reserve the lift, but uh, it can be like in half an hour, an hour. It depends on the type of charger you have. Uh, we'll make it uh, available to be charged as well as an EV charger, so it's easier to use as well. What's the range? Our range is 60 nautical miles, so it's a direct route. It's equivalent to about 100 miles driving a car in the city because you don't have to stop. You go up straight to your destination land. Is someone going to need a pilot's license in order to fly one of these? You will have a, 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 an easier form of certification, not the full, this is what we're working with. Uh, at this point, we know it uh, might be a pilot license, a sport pilot license, or something like that in existence. But bear in mind, this is a very easy uh, vehicle to control and maneuver, so it reduces pilot's error tremendously. So it's very cool. Uh, we were showing some images and some video of the vehicle itself. I think safety might be a concern, right? This is something that the average Joe isn't usually flying vehicles all around, you know, trying to make sure that one, they do it safely to protect themselves, but also to protect others around them. For our viewers who might have concerns about safety, thinking, you know, I don't want one of these vehicles crashing into my house uh, or crashing into me on the sidewalk, what would you tell them? So it's a good question. First of all, air, there's a thousand, thousand of aircraft out there. So, you know, in terms of safety, this will be a, even a higher standard level of safety because we have redundancies, uh, uh, motors, propellers in case of an emergency. Uh, we have a ballistic parachute that will deploy, it will land the entire aircraft, a carbon body uh, uh, monocoque. And we have patented uh, ducted fans that basically reduce, you know, bird strike and other um, 
reduces even the sound, sound levels and frequencies. So we are, we are really unique in that position. It, this will be a new standard. Um, ultimately, we're not going to have, you know, at the beginning thousands in the sky. It will take time. But, you know, it's, it will be like another aircraft, but a more efficient and more safer than what we have. This is what we're working mostly on safety, basically. What's the funding journey? Have you attracted VC dollars or investors? And, and if so, are you looking to attract more? Yeah, so we, until now, we raised about a, close to $6 million crowdfunding. We have 2,600 backers. Um, uh, a few of them are accredited investors. We're now uh, looking to raise $30 million um, with uh, VCs that we just started uh, a couple of months ago. And uh, there's a lot of traction, and we encourage people to take part. I mean, they can go on our website and invest anywhere from $10,000 and above the money that I owe. Are you uh, interested in getting venture capital investors on yeah, board? Yes, we are. We are because we understand this is a, a global, this is a, 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 a big um, uh, effort, not just you know, for us as a company, but it is, uh, we have to have like, strategic partners as well. This is what we're looking for. How would these vehicles better help the U.S. compete with China? Oh, tremendously. First, you can use it as the first responders um, uh, for law enforcement, save lives, uh, emergency, uh, military as well, um, uh, evacuate uh, um, uh, soldiers. Um, also here in terms of uh, reducing the amount of uh, pressure on traffic because you can get from place to place faster and more enjoyable and safer in a way. All right, uh, Daron Merdinger, CEO of Daroni Aerospace. Uh, Daron, thanks for joining. Thank you for inviting me. If only you could have landed that vehicle right down here on the floor of the stock exchange. I'm very interested. That would have been pretty cool, maybe one day. Yeah. <laughs>